Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Ani from The Learning Class. Uh, today's video is about how to create discounts in Shopify. Uh, discounts are a great way of attracting your clients. Uh, you can have discounts for signing up, uh, you can have discounts for uh, end of the year sale, mid-year sale, any kind of uh, holiday sale. So discounts, uh, definitely definitely you know i would recommend that you should always have uh it's a great way of you know uh, getting old customers back as well so uh, without further uh, ado let's straight get into it uh but before we do that uh we are a brand new channel, as you probably realized, and uh, we'll really appreciate if you can subscribe, like, uh, share, you know, do all the good things, uh, comment. Uh, it just really helps us, and, and it's free to do that. So, yeah, please uh, support us so we can keep creating content. Okay, so uh, now let's straight get into the discount uh, uh, section of uh, the tutorial. So once you log into your shopify so now that's my shopify store and if you see on the left hand side you will see discount so just let's just click that and then once you click it you will see here two different types of discounts one is a discount code and one is automatic discount so discount codes are basically where I'm sure you all have uh, used a discount code before you go on a website and then you see a discount code, right? Uh, so that is that is what discount code is. You just create a discount code and then uh, you apply that discount code on the website and your customer will get a sale, uh, you know, will, will basically get a discount, you know. 5%, 10%, or it could be a dollar. And then automatic discounts are basically where the discount is applied automatically. So uh, you could have something like buy one, get one. And the customer doesn't actually have to apply a code. He puts that product in his cart and the discount is applied automatically. Okay, so let's just first do a discount code. So let's just click on create discount code. So once you click that, you see something like this. So you have to give a name for your discount code. Let's just say, I'm just going to call it holiday. Okay. And then you go down and now you will see some options that you have. You got a percentage. So, you know, whether you're offering a 5%, 10%, 20%, you can offer a fixed amount. So it could be $2, $5, $10, $50, $50 whatever. Are you offering free shipping? So here again, you have the option of all countries or selected countries. So you can select the countries that you're offering free shipping to. And then of course you have buy one, get one. So uh, again, there are quite a few options over here. So let's just quickly go through each one of them and uh, let's see how it works. So the first one is percentage, right? So let's just say I'm going to offer 20%. So I just type in 20%. The next one, I've got the options of, am I applying the 20% to all the products uh, or specific collection? So if it's a collection, I can just come here and then this would browse. And then these are my collections. So I've got accessories, headwear, leather goods, right? So I can choose that. Uh, I can also have a discount on specific products so again i just click that browse and then i can just basically select the product that i want to offer that discount on right so there's a lot of products in my store so yeah there you go so all the products are now getting displayed so i can now select a particular product uh, that i want to offer the discount but right now i'm just going to cancel this and I'm just going to keep it for all products, okay? But as I said, you can customize it uh, the way you want it. <clears throat> okay, the the next uh, column is minimum requirement. So here you have three options, none. So there is no minimum requirement. Uh, but you can have a minimum purchase amount. So if you, you get the discount, if you spend, let's say, 
that's the only time they're going to get a 20% discount. So you can have those conditions or you can also have minimum quantity of items. So if you purchase two items, then only you're going to get 20% off. Okay. So again, you have this option. It will again depend on the kind of uh, a promotion you are running. But right now, I'm just going to keep it no minimum requirements, which basically means that any product you buy, you use the code holiday and you get straight 20% off. Okay, uh, the next column is customer eligibility. Uh, in, in here again, you have everyone, specific customer segments. So here you can select uh, old customers, new customers. Now, obviously, uh, here you see you've got customers who haven't purchased, customers who have purchased more than once, abandoned checkouts in the last 30 days, emails. Are so it's pretty good. You know, you've got quite a few options who you want to you know, whom you want to offer the discount to. And then the last one is specific customers. So here you can, again, you should be able to select a particular customer that you want. So I've got, and I've just put two sample customers right now, so I can just offer them. Okay, so here I'm just going to leave at everyone. Okay, moving on, then we've got usage limits. So this discount uh limit number of times discount can be used in total so if i click this how many times you want you know this person you know, how many times you want this discount code to be used so here you can specify twice or thrice or whatever or you can have limit to one use per customer so if you just want the code to be used only one time then you just check check that box if you don't want that then the limit is basically unlimited right so any amount of customer can use that code any amount of time <clears throat> so i think that kind of makes sense let's moving on to the last column which is active dates so active dates is obviously start date you can fix a time and then if you want to have an end date you can fix a time as well Okay, so that is how we do the percentage. Now let's move on to fixed amount. So if you click fixed amount, this is where you are offering a fixed, you know, uh, a fixed amount of money as a discount. So let's say you are offering ten dollars, right? And then the same thing applies again. Applies to all products. You can choose a collection. You can choose specific products over here, specific collections, minimum requirements. So again, is there a minimum purchase amount? So again, pretty much the same. And then you have free shipping. So here again, you'll be able to uh, choose uh, one particular country or all countries you're offering free shipping. So if it's all country, you just select that. Shipping rates, exclude shipping rates over a certain amount. So here you will be able to put a, a, a certain amount. So for example, if you are, if you are charging for shipping, uh, and let's say you are based in the United States and you are shipping to, let's say, uh, some far off country, let's say to Africa in Botswana. And the shipping is really high to Botswana, right? You know, you're paying maybe $20. So you don't, you know, you're not going to offer uh, $20 shipping to Botswana. So here you can actually put a small amount. So you're going to offer free shipping. But if the rate, ex you know, the, if the rate of the shipping goes above $10, for example, then there is no free shipping. So all the countries where the shipping is more than ten dollars you're going to charge them the shipping right so you can just put your ten dollars so i hope i hope that's clear okay then you, again pretty much the same minimum requirements 
minimum quantity of items and pretty much the same columns okay and then you also have the option of buy buy x get y so buy one get one free so again uh, customer buys so you're gonna have minimum quantity of items or minimum purchase amount so minimum quantity of items uh, you can say you need to purchase two items and then you can specify the products or you can specify the collection then you can just do browse and you can select whichever you like so customer buys let's just say i'm just going to do one customer buys one i'm going to do products i'm going to do browse let's just do collection there's too much products so i'm just going to click on all of my collections right because i'm going to offer store wide so i've selected all my collections here as you can see it's not there and then if anybody buys any product from any of these the customer gets one item and then browse and then I'm gonna select all again add okay cool so now I have added if customer purchases one amount uh, one product from any of these selection any of these collections he's gonna get one product from any of these collections now the discount now i'm going to give it for free and then set a maximum number of uses per order so uh, if it's going to be unlimited then it's fine or you can just set one or two so i'm just going to leave it like that Custom eligibility, so again, you can select everyone. Limit, so how many times you want this discount to be. So, yeah, so this these are pretty much the same like before that we had a look at. <clears throat> okay, and then once you're happy with, uh, with this, uh, you can also choose the minimum amount. So minimum purchase amount is let's say ten dollars and then yeah so you, as you can see quite a few options to uh, get uh, your discount uh, sorted for this video i'm just gonna uh, keep the simple one and that is percentage okay so we're going to actually create a code and then we're going to use that code on the website and see if it works. So I'm going to keep uh, the discount code as holiday percentage. Discount value is 20% uh, applies to all products. Okay. Minimum require none. Customer eligibility is everyone. Usage limits. Not going to bother about that. Active. It's just going to start now. I'm going to do save. Okay, so this is like a very, very basic discount. Now, the good thing here is Shopify also gives you a shareable link. So if you click that, you see you get a link, right? And this link you can use in your email marketing campaign. You can email it to your customers, uh, repeat customers or customers who have left the cart or things like that. But right now, I'm just going to ignore that and let's just see if the code has been created so i'm just going to go to discount and as you can see the code has been created it's active 20 percent off all products so let's just try to use this code i'm going to copy this code i'm going to copy this code 
just gonna go to the website okay i'm just gonna add a product let's i'm just gonna add this product yeah Uh, I'm just going to do add to cart. So add to cart. Okay. I'm going to do checkout. So this is going to take me to the checkout page. So this is the checkout page. And as you can see, there is this uh, discount code column. So I'm going to paste there and do apply. That's it. It works. So as you can see, the 20% has been applied and this is the final price. So, you know, that was pretty easy peasy. I think uh, it worked uh, and uh, the discount uh, just went through. Okay, uh, the next bit that I wanted to explain was the automatic discount. So I'm just going to click on automatic discounts and then create automatic discount. So this is where no code is required uh the percentage or the dollar amount that you uh, decide for your you know, for your promotion will be applied automatically okay so i'm just going to call this this is a sale promotion okay so percentage I'm not going to do 20%, right? Minimum requirements is, so the minimum purchase amount should be, let's say $10. Okay, so here the promotion is that I am, you know, what I'm saying to my clients are, hey, we are running a promotion, it's 20%. If you buy a product which is costing more than ten dollars, automatically twenty percent is going to be applied. Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, I'm gonna save this. I'm just gonna go back here. It's gonna refresh, and let's just try to add uh, well maybe this product. Okay, so I'm just gonna click this. It's a single jacket and I'm going to do add to cart. Let's just remove the previous one. And there you go. Sale promotion has already been applied. So 20% has already been applied. So it works, right? The price was 127 and then the price has been dropped to 101 so this is the automatic promotion that that got applied so i think that's it you know for today uh, i hope this video was helpful for you guys uh, to be able to uh, create your own discount and uh, it's 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 a nice little uh, tool that shopify has uh, the next video uh, don't don't forget to check out is how you can display uh, in a very creative way uh, you know by having a pop up by having a banner on your website so when a customer comes he can see or she can see uh, that you're running this promotion so don't forget to check out that video uh, I'm gonna put the link uh, uh, in the description I actually I haven't shot that video still but I'll be shooting that right after this one so you'll be able to see that video as well so anyways guys thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope you learned something today and if if you feel the video was valuable Really appreciate a subscribe or a like or a comment. Uh, yeah, just do all the good stuff to us, support us. Uh, thank you guys and uh, have a great day.